It's time to work it on a Wednesday and we've got Mr. Wilson Edson here from Wow Salon because every time I go in, I get my hair curled and I love it. And then I'm like, ooh, how can I do that at home? Clearly, I need to buy certain tools. Clearly, you <laughs> ordered from Instagram uh -huh. and this is what you got. Right. And this is a great tool. I'm glad to be here, by the way. Yes, yeah. <laughs> we, we, lo we love having you, Wilson. Uh, and so, uh, you brought this yesterday and I tried it and as long as you keep your thumb back of a light that's in there, it uh -huh. has to be back of it, it works great. This is Mimi from our salon. Mimi with the good she, hair. Yeah, Mimi with the good hair. And if you'll turn your hair just a little bit, we did two sections. Okay. And it worked beautifully. So that came from that? Yo, I've that had this for like two years. I can't figure out how to use it. So of course I need, I was like, Wilson, <laughs> how do you use this thing? <laughs> And so we use mostly a flat iron or a curling iron right. in the salon because they're easy. <laughs> <laughs> some people, why are they not, is it because I'm not a professional, I don't have the hands well, And there's right? so many like, things that you can do. When the flat irons came out, you felt like. You used it to flatten the you life used it out to of your absolutely hair. straighten hair. Yes. Now you can wrap it around and you can get stronger curls and you just use it as a ribbon and See, you get stronger so curls, which is very similar to this. Right. But the problem with all tools yes. is the hand on work. one side, the handle has to be down. When you go to the other side, the handle has to be up. Okay. So usually if, it's, um, if you're going away from both, your face? All of the tools. Okay. When you're doing it yourself, you have to have it different. You have, it depends. Okay. We always want it to go usually away from the face. Right. Because if you don't, it comes in on your cheekbones, you closes in your eyes, except for your bangs. Yeah. Uh, we want it to open up the face a little bit more. So even if you have this gigantic long curling iron, uh -huh. uh, we'll you start, start the top. and we will usually slide them down. Okay. If you don't, you're not gonna get a wave, you're gonna get a curl. And so you're not really, I feel like clamping down super hard too. I feel like I clamp down so hard and then it's like You don't pull clamp it all, you just let it close. Oh. And you don't have to pull it. You don't have to hold it. Okay. See, I'm, yeah. I'm like over. And three. if you use too much hair. You got to take your time. You got to like, that's why you section it. And all off. of it, even this, uh, I have to see where my thumb is. You have to put it in. Okay. And when you turn it, you just can't do too much hair. If you do too much hair, is it just not gonna see? It sl doesn't slide as well. Right. It's so also it just depends on how much you want to get in there. Also, I find that if you use a little hairspray, yes. light hairspray, not a super heavy hold lacquer, that that will dull your hair. It will also cause it to go yellow if you're blonde. Oh. So you only use a little bit of of hairspray, and that will help it stay all day. Now, what about there's the debate of like curling dirty hair versus clean hair? You know, like sometimes if it's dirty, does it does it matter, or are you just like yeah, not as long as it's not like over second day hair. Uh, you don't want to any anytime you build products up on hair. If yeah. you've used if you haven't used anything, that's different. Right. But if you've used any type of dry shampoo or you use a uh, too many too much hairspray or what, you're gonna build you're gonna bake on the product. And we don't want to bake on. You don't want to bake on that product. If you bake on that product, you just got a problem getting it off. Your hair is dull. It turns into a different color. So. Okay, so when in doubt, go with clean hair. And of these three, what, what is your favorite, you think? Or the maybe most user-friendly? This, this will be what we use 80% really? of the time in the salon. That's crazy. That the, it depends on the look. Yeah. Uh, and if you want uh, the waves, Curls come from vertical. Okay. Waves come from horizontal. Okay, see that's a good so tip. If you want just a big loose wave, it, you go in horizontally with your section, not vertical. Ah. What about curlers? Do people still use curlers? Like, you know, like our parents like, would put them in bed at night. Well, and I thought I was going to be pads. really lazy, and so yeah. I found these two-inch curlers uh -huh. uh, online, you know, right. my favorite yeah. place not to go, uh -huh. you, and I ordered them. That curl stays in about 10 minutes. Oh, that's good. <laughs> so you can't get those big, loose waves using those curlers and them stay in. 
gotcha. stay that retain. It's just it do, they, they just don't last. They don't last. So yes, you could put those curlers in there, but there's an art to that. All of this is learning. Take the time at first and learn to use it, and then there's no problem. There is no problem all, at all. Whether uh -huh. you're using a curling iron, a flat iron, or <laughs> your my, trend. My trend. So, <laughs> so actually read the YouTube tutorial that they sent with the curling <laughs> iron. And who knows, maybe I can recreate this. Well, so we love you guys. Wow Salon, go by and see them. They will hook you up and then they'll show you how to do it. And Mimi's here. Mimi, <laughs> great job with your pretty hair, girl. It looks great.